Hello, welcome back to another Notion video on this channel. Today we're setting up our October setup, digital planner wise, on Notion. Yes, there'll be widgets, colors, and more, so stay tuned. Or let's just get started. Press start! Okay, first we're going to go into the template. You can find the link to my full tutorial and template down in the description box. But let's just duplicate this first. Duplicate and let's reorder it so October is right after September. Yes, I'm a bit type A. Okay, now that we have this page set up, let's rename it to October first. Okay, so I already went ahead and set up the dates because this is very time consuming and you've seen this a bunch of times on my channel before. But basically just click on each date and just select the date that's supposed to be correct. So yeah, like that, let's just put it back to the right date which is October 4th which is the date I wanted to start at. Okay, so I'm envisioning a certain color scheme for the setup. So let's start by changing the color of the background of this text for each date. So I want to do orange. And let's change that as well. Yep, and we just keep going. And if you're familiar with my setup, I configure it at a next week button. So we have to change the colors of all of these as well. The next day. Okay, let's be real. It didn't take that long. But... Let's go to something more interesting. So you may have noticed I had this really thin bar on the top that I'm going to call a divider. You can configure that as well, change the color to make your scheme. So let me show you how to do that. So how you add these dividers is through an equation. So you just have to change the formula here. And this is by the way a very cool tool called Coolers. You can generate all sorts of color schemes and palettes. Um, just find the perfect color, copy and paste the hex code so you can, you know, customize your page more easily. Well, at least the divider. So yes, paste your hex code into here and voila, you see that I changed it to this lightish brown color. And I'm going to do the same for this bottom bar here. Yeah, it's a bit annoying to kind of customize, but this is the formula. You can try using it to add a little spice to your page. Maybe some pumpkin spice because it's October. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's get to icons. So you know me, I really like my GIF icons. So you can upload an image or link it. I'm going to link something from Jiffy. Just to be festive, I'm going with pumpkins as you can see here. Let's find the perfect one. Okay, I quite like the look of this one, the television kind of vibe. Let's copy the link, paste it in, and hit submit. Ta-da! Okay, let's find our perfect cover now. So what you do is you just click add a cover, it'll automatically populate one, but change it up. You have all those options again to upload, link, or you know, search for something stock free on Unsplash, but I'm going to upload something from Pinterest. So I don't like to go too crazy with the cover just because I want the icon to stand out and you know, just don't need to go overboard. So just going to continue scrolling. Oh, I quite like the look of this one some starry vibes so let's download this and i am going to need to rotate it as well okay save and yeah let's go back to notion and we can upload this image so there we go you can also reposition this image so i'm going to do that because i want part of the constellations to show Okay, there we go, and that's the page. So normally I would end it here, but today I'm going to spice things up by revisiting widgets because I know it's been a while and you guys are all curious. So I'm going to use Indify, which is a great source of these awesome widgets, very minimalistic but very functional. And I quite like the look of this analog clock, so I'm going to see if I can customize this. 
and you can see there are many options so you can toggle definitely play around with this find what you like but i think i'm going to play with something more minimalistic such as this analog smooth kind of clock so copy the embed link go back to notion and find the perfect spot where you would like to add this unfortunately you can't really add it to kind of the top or the header and you know I guess the header is, but I'm going to add it near the top. Um, find the embed function. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. It's kind of all the way down, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. You could also type forward slash embed and you should get that command as well. So I'm going to paste in the embed link. It'll take a second to populate. And there we go. So this planetary one kind of populated because I actually refreshed the Endify page, but you can easily change it back and it'll sync. So that's why I'm showing this. So you can easily resize this, move it wherever you want, how you see fit. You're totally in control customizing your page. So I don't want it dead center, so I'm going to actually move it on top of this second right hand side column. So that's kind of staggered and have like an even setup between the first half of the week and the second half of the week. And expand so I can align it better and there we go. I kind of like the look of this. And like I said earlier, Indify widgets automatically sync. So if you go back to Indify and you just switch back to the smooth analog clock instead of this planetary setup. You can do so and you just go back to Notion, refresh the page and it'll go back to the smooth clock. And there you have it. Voila! Widgets, the color scheme that I picked out and yeah, great icon, great cover page. Now let's do a final check or what I like to call the user test. Kind of like a tour. So if you favorite this page, you can easily navigate to your proper planner month in your spread and you'll see I have this color scheme going, that cute little widget in the corner courtesy of Indify and when I ever want to start a new week, I can just click on this button that I pre-configured and yeah, unfortunately the columns don't populate. Um, so I have to kind of re-customize each week, but it's no big deal. So I just select all the days that I want to go in the right hand side column. And I just drag it over. Of course, you want the rest of the first half of the week to go under the Monday bar. So that's what I'm doing now. Select and drag. Easy peasy. And you can always delete this at a new week after you added the new week. So delete there we go and yeah that's the finished product and with that we've reached the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope that you found this to be helpful and make sure that you subscribe thumbs up on this video if you did find this to be helpful or if you liked it and leave your comments down below let's share some tips and all that good stuff and i'll see you next time bye bye